Hi, how's it going? My name is Chris, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. Episode 2, Assembly Required. Now, this was a bit of a surprise because uh, the other day I was, you know, going to work. Actually, I was, I'd just gotten to work, and I'm checking the old Twitter, you know. Start the day off, might as well check Twitter, see what's going on. And BAM! IGN's tweeting out that, hey, uh, Telltale has kind of stealthily let out this new episode too. I was not expecting that, because if you have any history with Telltale, they usually have really long cycles before their next episode pops up, so this was a pleasant surprise. Now I hear this episode is actually kind of short, so maybe that's how they were able to get it out so quick, but one way or the other, I'm excited to get back into the season, or I guess I should say the episode. I saw the word season pass there as I was saying that and it went into my head. Anyways, I'm excited to get back into it and see what happens in our story. So here we go. My mistake. Hit the wrong button. I'm already hitting wrong buttons again. Here we go. Oh no, do I not hit that? I guess I just go over to play. Man, I'm screwing this up all over the place. There we go. Episode 2. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring this redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! <laughs> oh, snap, it's the octopus guy again. <laughs> ow! Ow, 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 ow! Oh, man. Hide! Watch out, Reuben! Great, more gas! Oh, gas, that's what they're called? The mine carts! They always look so angry. They got like the, what are you doing in my do house about the gas. face. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? All right. So long as you really know what you're doing with, with the it. sword. Ah! Whoa. I probably should have picked the bow and arrow. Dang it. That's no good. Uh. Oh, I just got to okay. <laughs> oh, just that one hit took him out. I was expecting a fastball after that one. Okay, we're all set to go again. It's all good, Ruben. Now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second. That was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. 
That's a sharp turn. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? I thought I was going to get a, a question I had to answer on that one, like a choice. I guess not. I like the music in this game. Especially the at the intro screen before you ever even get rolling. That's really good music. I could just listen to that for a while. I gotta find out if they got this soundtrack like on Spotify or something. Y'all can't see me, but I'm I'm dancing in my seat right now. If you could see it, it would be glorious. You'd never wanna unsee it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm still doing it. Mm, mm, what? What? I said. Mm, mm, what? What? I'm telling you, this dance is amazing. It's too bad there's Tell not a camera. Redstonia. I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration. Or I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. What? I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. Don't we need her? Continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. <laughs> Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Which one? There's three of them. Wait, but if she's going into like a hibernation mode or something, we need her, right? Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I meant. Uh -oh. Ah, crap. That's what I was thinking. Look at all that dynamite. Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard, it's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Uh... I mean, I'm no Elega. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. That's Level right. With me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. That Jesse, probably does. show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. I don't know. I don't course, trust this guy. I'd also want to hang on to it. Okay, sure. That would Dang be it. great. Down to the wire. I probably should have done that. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. I bet you this are wrong. This is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. What? We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. I should have kept that thing, dang it. Guess Bad we'll need to get decision. another repeater. Right. Let's steal the one from him. It's cows? Stamping in the mud. Look at the cow pult. Oh! <laughs> Look at this stupid cow. Oh, that was funny. Yeah. 
can't help but notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> nah, we'll leave Reuben as it is. Oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Of course no. not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. I do want to pull the lever, though. Where is it? Uh, I'm going to use the cow pult. <laughs> that is fun. Congratulations. You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. It was cool, though. This, uh, this person over here did not seem happy with me. I'm going to go see what's up with them. Oh. Flying machine? Well, let's make something fly, shall we? Uh oh. So high, going so very high. Then why were you up there? That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it. Wow. Wonder how high it'll go. This view is spectacular. Wow. She is kind of weird. Let's go talk to uh, homegirl over here. I think that's a that's a girl. The auto farmer. Uh, X, wrong button. Did Sandy just take off? Oh, I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. Oh, oh she, you. She was a little hill. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> she's in a better, a better place. place. <laughs> the sky to explore it. Anyway. Stupid cow launching. Yeah, I knew she wasn't happy about the cow launcher. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Hmm. Oh, interesting. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches though. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, ask for everything. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege, so I'll be intimidated. <laughs> well, it's not working. Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that. Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I know, Listen, right? If you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. Okay, so somehow I gotta put a sabotage on the old cow bolt. Uh, hmm. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized is there some way that I can like uh... oh look you know what there's dynamite all over this place let's talk to the old man what's up old man hi there can I blow this thing up what look you're gonna have to speak up there oh I just said hi much better what can I do for you you want to see my TNT cannon you say something how does your machine work Still a work in progress, but eventually it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool, theoretically. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. Hmm. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. 